First, I had the pink pineapple. Then I had the pink chocolate. And then I decided that from now on, I will only eat things that are pink. Luckily for me, there is also an apple that is pink. From the outside, it looks like a normal apple. But when you cut this open, it has a vibrant pink color inside. This is the hidden rose apple. This, by the way, was sent to me by miamifruit.org. So if you are interested in trying this, they are, as I film this, uh, available on their website, miamifruit.org. There's also a link in the description below with a promo code that you can use uh, to get a little bit of a discount on this. This apple has a little bit of buzz online as uh, not just being cool when you cut it open, but also tasting interesting. Uh, online I've seen articles saying that this tastes like cotton candy, fruit punch, and uh, strawberry lemonade was another one. Sounds really good, so uh, I'm not sure how much of that is true, so today we're gonna put that to the test. I'm pretty sure it's gonna look interesting, but is it going to taste interesting? But first, I wanna talk a little bit about what makes a red-fleshed apple red. See, in the past, I reviewed the uh, pink pineapple, and that is genetically modified to be pink. And I reviewed ruby chocolate, which is, uh, it's not genetically modified, but it is uh, cocoa beans that have been treated with uh, certain compounds to make them pink. But in the case of red-fleshed apples, uh, this is something that is achieved through breeding. There is actually a naturally occurring red apple uh, it's a different species than regular supermarket apples. It's uh, Malice... Oh, hell. Uh, Nadwetskiana. I'm probably butchering that. Let's call it Malice N, okay? So Malice N is uh, an endangered species related to apples that we have today that exists in Central Asia. So any red-fleshed apple that you have is most likely a descendant of that. And there are several. This is not the only apple out there that is red inside. Uh, one of the earliest ones is from 1831, according to Wikipedia. It's called the Surprise Apple, and this was popular throughout Europe. So a lot of the red flesh apples we have today are actually descendants of the Surprise Apple, which is then a descendant of the uh, Malice N. One red flesh apple that you might come across if you go to like farmer's markets or maybe even some supermarkets would have it is the pink pearl apple. And that one is a direct descendant of the surprise apple. It was uh, created in 1944 through breeding from the surprise apple. The exact parentage of the hidden rose apple is not actually known. Uh, how this was found is that uh, an apple orchard was purchased by a, a guy, and when he bought the orchard, he found a tree producing these apples on the ground. And knowing something about apples, he tried one and was like, this isn't a pink pearl apple, this is something completely different, but it is very red inside. So he um, wasn't entirely thrilled with the flavor of it, so I think he like did a little bit of breeding in order to get what we have today as the Hidden Rose Apple. So uh, it's not a pink pearl, it is not a surprise apple, it is something else, but it is likely a descendant of one of those. So when you taste this, you are tasting, in a way, some of the characteristics that would exist in this endangered apple that grows in Central Asia that is red inside. Only this is probably gonna taste a lot better because over time this has been bred to be a good apple. So, I don't know, it's really cool to me. All right, let's cut it open. Wow, <laughs> that is incredible. And on the outside, you wouldn't be able to tell. It's like a little bit pink. You see that pink out there, but it's not nearly as vibrant as the inside. So when it says hidden rose, it is absolutely hidden. This would be a cool surprise just to have like at a party or something. Just give this to somebody and they'll take a bite and they'll be like, what the hell? Why is this red inside? This is so neat. 
<laughs> I mean, it looks like the like the apple from like Freakonomics or something. It looks like there's a different fruit inside the apple. It just smells like an apple. <laughs> hmm. That was flavorful. These are actually uh, a little bit heavy for their size. It's heavier than a supermarket apple, which makes sense because this tastes juicier and a little bit more dense than a regular apple. They're tart too. It's like maybe a, like a five out of 10 for tartness, maybe a little bit more. It's not like a Granny Smith apple. It's not that tart, but it's a little bit more tart than your, your standard like Macintosh apple. The sweetness is good. I'd say it's comparable to a regular apple, maybe like a five out of, out of 10. This tastes like an apple that was picked recently. You know, if you, go and, if you go apple picking and pick an apple and take a bite out of it, it's gonna be so much better than an apple that you get from a supermarket. It hasn't been just sitting around on a supermarket shelf for like the past six months. Like this was harvested probably pretty recently. As far as this tasting like fruit punch or strawberry lemonade or cotton candy. Um, if I didn't already have that in my mind, I wouldn't think that at all. I would just think, oh, this is a really good apple. But uh, having that in my mind, trying to eat this without being influenced by you know, what it looks like and what I've, I've heard, it doesn't taste like cotton candy. It doesn't really taste like fruit punch, maybe vaguely. It has a little bit extra note in there that might be like fruit punch. Uh, a little bit like strawberry lemonade though. I mean, won't lie, uh, it's got like a little bit of a berry note to it, but more it has a citrusy note. I think maybe if you take a bite out of like a Fuji apple, you might be able to detect some little bit of a berry flavor in there. Uh, I'm not sure, I've never really thought about it, but uh, thinking about it as I bite, the, bite into this apple, I do, kind of pick up a little bit of a berry taste. A little bit. It's not strong. It does not taste like I'm biting into a strawberry. It tastes like I'm biting into an apple. There is a phenomenon that I've noticed with a lot of these fruits that are like visually very interesting where people try to project more into them than there really is. Like the ice cream banana is probably the best one. Ice cream bananas taste like ice cream. No, they don't. They're blue, which is really cool, but they don't taste like ice cream. Or uh, the pine berry, which is like a little strawberry with that's white with red seeds. Those taste just like pineapple. Not really. Uh, chocolate pudding fruit. Tastes like chocolate pudding. No, looks like it. Doesn't taste like it. With this one, I think it's also going into that category where it looks really, really cool. The history of it, why it's red, is fascinating. The uh, flavor of it is really good but it's just a really good apple. There might be like a few little notes of like berries or lemons or whatever in there, but if you go into this expect expecting to bite into fruit punch or cotton candy or um, a strawberry lemonade flavored thing, you might be a little disappointed, but what it will not disappoint you on is what this thing looks like. Years ago, I actually found a pink pearl apple, one of the other red fleshed apples, and uh, I attempted to make a review of it but I ended up not airing it because when I cut open that apple, it was not red inside. It was white with like a little bit of pink, like a little pink splotch in the middle of it. So uh, I was a little bit disappointed with that one. Out of all the ones I cut open, and uh, I've cut open four of them, the least red of them is this one. Even then, it's still pretty impressive. If you were to cut this open, you would know you had a red fleshed apple. If you were to take a bite out of this, you know, Still, I mean, look at that. This is the least red one. It's pretty impressive. You might get like a weird cross section, but like uniformly throughout the apple, it is pretty red. So if you've been disappointed by a red fleshed apple in the past, as so many of us are, uh, this one I don't think will disappoint. So that is all I have to say about the Hidden Rose Apple. If you are interested in trying this, uh, check out miamifruit.org, where uh, as I film this, they are currently available, but they are in a limited supply. So if they're not available uh, when you watch this video, maybe check back in the future. There's also a promo code in the description below if you want to get a discount on your order. 
And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Hey, before you click out, I want to give a very special thank you to AltPod, Smarter Every Day, and the Harbor Leaf Tea Company. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Uh, Patreon.com, if you haven't heard of it, it is how this channel happens. It's how I get all the funding to go on the trips I go on and how I get all the fruit that I try. So if you're interested in supporting my channel, uh, check out the link in the description below. Uh, another thing is that I have t-shirts for sale. Those are also available in the description below as well. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.